Hey, good morning, everybody. AJ here. We are back up here at Epworth United Methodist Church, where we're going to be upgrading their sound from an old analog sound system to a digital one. So I'm tired, um, but we's here. And it looks like I got a subscriber that met me here. It looks like he's walking up right now. So let me go ahead and meet him and get inside and let's um, do what we do. All right, folks, so we're in here. Like I said, we had a subscriber stop by to come visit. Why don't you introduce yourself? How you doing, everyone? I'm Larry Robinson. I'm with Jordan Christian Center, and I'm just here to spend a little time with AJ and uh, learn what I can. All right, so what we're going to do, we have the S16. We're going to replace this. I need to get some tools, pull this whole thing out. I've already taken pictures. The good thing is all of this is numbered. So technically, we're just gonna repurpose this. The cable that was ran originally to send audio, the shielded, is what we're gonna be using for the connection back to the board. So don't have to run this, so I just need to unplug this. We've already taken pictures, unplug, plug in the new stuff, and then move the board upstairs, power it up, and then we just gotta start tweaking and label these exactly the way it originally was, and then we get some sound, and we go from there. All right, folks, so before and after, almost all of this has been gone now. And all the extra aux outs and stuff like that, they were actually going to the tape and the CD recorder. So as of right now, those are not needed. Thinking about putting a, a surge um, protector in here to connect to this, but then everything else, maybe put a, black, a blank panel to cover this up. But none of this is needed. So now let's move upstairs and then set up the board. Alrighty, we're up here. We're gonna put the board here. Probably a bigger table is needed for that, but it's enough to carry it through. Some of the cables that we're repurposing is what we're gonna run to connect the audio to the ATEM and find that extra end of the cable that was repurposed for audio originally is here somewhere. Gotta do that. That'll be the snake. All right, so we relocated a little stuff to get some more space. We didn't have a long enough cable, so move this over to here right now. Um, but now we're just going to start, and that time is really off. We need to start setting this up. First off, let's make sure it's picking up the snake down there, which I don't think it is because it's not on. Yeah, we need to turn, down, turn on everything down there and then start tweaking now it's still configured like i had it but some of this we're going to change all right folks so we got everything they just finished doing a test we got the board set up got it configured now the fun part is for them to understand the concept of using it <laughs> so um i ended up getting a longer um longer cable so that we have the distance to get from here but that's what we're getting ready to work on right now alrighty folks we are wrapping up let me give you a quick tour about what we did and some stuff that we still have to continue to do on a second visit so let's go up here to the front so this is the old cable that we had I had two ethercon connections this is what's connected right now um, but they are fishing this other cable over. Alrighty, folks, like I said, almost pretty much everything was removed down here. Tape players, CD players, all this other stuff like that. Um, we have all of our connections here. We still got another four. Still got five more outputs. But we got everything connected here. Still using the amp back here. But um, everything is straightforward. Now, one of the thoughts was asking about connecting a phone down here. Technically, yes, you could connect it down here and play music. But the fact that we moved everything upstairs, there's really no need. I don't think a need to play music down here because somebody on the board is going to need to be able to be in control of it anyway. Um, so that's why I didn't do that. But technically, we could. Uh, we have, like I said, four other open jacks. So if they have um want to mic up their drummer they can um you know we can also always add another s16 and daisy chain them if need be like we did at abundant life but this part is done i had I, thankfully i didn't throw these ethercons away 
this is the one that we tested and this is the other one that they are running back up in the ceiling um, to replace that other one now let's um, I'm gonna do this backwards I'm gonna show you the other piece that we need to come back and do so all of the sound inside the sanctuary is fine but the sound in the house I mean the external areas is an issue and that's mainly because of the original setup so here is a piece of the original system that you, you see is a lot of stuff in here um, this was the old four channel system that they used to have here this was then upgraded to an eight channel system and instead of pulling anything out it was just added on top and this junction box here is the junction that's going to all the speakers so technically a lot of this is not needed anymore um, the plan is like all these speaker cables here um, what needs to happen is um, the amp that was upstairs move that down here um, maybe put a rack or something on the wall put the amp here and then splice these cables and connect the speakers directly to the speakers that go out here in the entrance in the different areas of the church that's what we need to go back for but the that downstairs is only for the rest of the building which is not essential right now um, based on their own words so that's what we're going to come back and do i'm going to do some research but technically it's i mean these are passive speakers so they need to have power and a signal and the amp is more than powerful enough because that's what's powering all of them we just need to relocate it and reconnect it here and then run one um, connection from the x32 downstairs to feed that amp so now let's go over and show you what we have now in the booth all right so we moved some stuff around we pretty much gutted a lot of this this is the amp that i was telling you about pretty much everything in here is off it's not needed so this is actually going to come out i'll see if i can actually pull pull it out right now before i leave but anyway this is going to go away this is going to now clear this whole area so from wall to wall this will be the sound area and we got our connection we got good sound to the live stream to the house everything like that and ultimately the only thing we have is network connection our ethercon connection this is the connection out for audio to the live stream which we have a mix bus for here's a connection if somebody wants to connect their phone directly here and this is the line out from one of the aux one out that would be fed downstairs that goes to the amp and again all of the wires all that other stuff would go away so that's a good thing so again thank you so much Epworth United Methodist for I mean this, this we're on the three peat <laughs> doing some work up here really appreciate um, this um, everybody said they like the sound that they're hearing a lot cleaner a lot clearer um, and again it's a lot from going from an analog system to a digital we taught them the basics that they need nothing super fancy yet but we did make a separate mix for the live stream so it can be controlled completely separately from here but it gives them a lot of room to grow um, there so let me clean my mess up um, link is down below to everything that we used and just be aware um, the s16s and the personal mixers are back ordered until um, May at least that's what Sweetwater is telling me so if y'all are looking at getting something like that um, and you're looking at Sweetwater they're backed up but um, and again this is um, March 26 2022 so hopefully they'll be back in stock because I got about like three of them on um, back order so anyway folks you like this type of content appreciate a like consider subscribing hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry but let me let me let me get, get somebody here that had my impromptu assistant here and you got let me, let me change the light because the light you know i told you i like the the glass stained glass in here but you can't see anything did, what, what what did you um did you break anything did i break anything did i um did we hire somebody to come back behind the scenes and no, i'm just no. like a face and no what, what? you did all the work here you know <laughs> I, I was just glad to be a part of it and just see exactly how you do things and uh, it was a great experience and i look forward to coming back you coming back and we can finish up the job yeah. 
Well, thank y'all so much. And see, you see, you see, you're still smiling faces here. They're not, you know, they don't have pitchforks or nothing like that. So, I, 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 at least I think they're happy with everything that's going on up here. So, anyway, folks, we'll catch y'all later.